Last Monday, the District 204 Board of Education announced its plan to return to school. This plan involves dividing the students up into four groups based on last name and grade. Each group will return to school one Monday a month for a full day. So for us, Mondays was um, our low hanging fruit because it was the day we know we needed to strengthen the most. Uh, the schedule was not as fluid as we wanted and Tuesday through Friday, we felt was really going as best as it could. Yeah, I just, I don't see, we're gonna have a lot of parents taking advantage of, of their students coming one day a month. We also spoke with some local parents, teachers, and students to see what their views were on reopening. I don't think that e-learning is working for a lot of our kids. And in reality, it's just that it's not developmentally appropriate for a five-year-old to be on a screen for five hours a day. I just want to support getting the kids back in school. Mm -hmm. make, sure, make sure they have a good education and they, they continue what they started you know, two years ago. I think that one day a month is kind of pointless for all that effort to get people in and clean and set things up and change schedules. Change schedules for one day a month, I feel like that's a little bit like over the top for the output. Uh, from the student's perspective, what's the benefit of coming into school one day a month? I mean, that's not enough time to get anything done. It's not enough time to even get to know their teachers and their peers face to face because it's been screen to screen for so long. I just don't think that there is enough time there to really have a positive impact or really benefit the students. And I think with reopening, you have to go all or nothing. And right now we're just, it's to the point where we're doing nothing. I sat down with Michael Razak, the president of the Board of Education, to find out more about the plan to return to school. What I can safely say is this is just the starting point. Do we think one day every other week <laughs> is going to cut it? Probably not. For me, this is the stepping stone to more. How do you think this plan might change come second semester? So there's different hybrid plans. The simple answer is hybrid. Maybe you're going part-time Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and doing things remotely. I see more in-person instruction in a hybrid model until we get to phase five. You know, everybody, no matter what side you are, you know, you're kind of, <laughs> you're kind of anxious and you're angry that this happened. But, you know, I hope we work in a cooperative, collaborative manner. That's how we're best going to serve our students. For The Main, I'm Josh Munson.